Okay, welcome to the first video here for Just for Fun on my playlist. Um, this week, I would like to give you another option for participation. I will be creating the Khan Academy account for everybody, but I'd also like to give you the option of doing an at-home experiment. So, here are a few good options you can look up on the internet, or you can just do on your own. Option one, make some rock candy. All you really need for rock candy is uh, a bunch of sugar, water, a uh, pan to boil the water in on the stove, and you're going to need some type of uh, masonry jar to hold the liquid in uh, once it's cooled a little bit. Not don't pour it in straight boiling, but once it's cooled a little bit, and then some sticks to adhere to the sugar to adhere to. Now you can look up lots of videos online how to make rock candy, but what I was thinking is if you just try to make rock candy. Um, on your own, um, you can get different size crystals by maybe putting it in different areas of the house to cool, maybe put it um, near a window to cool versus near a heat source to cool, not, not like really hot, but like maybe near a heat vent or something, and just see if you get different size crystals. Uh, the second option would be to make oobleck with your, with your family, which is just cornstarch and water if you have some cornstarch. Um, if not, it's relatively cheap if um, a parent's going out shopping, just have them pick up some cornstarch. Mix the cornstarch and water. And again, you can look it up on the internet, the exact consistencies um, based on the ratios. But I was thinking if you just try it on your own to make a, make a small little batches, just a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of water, maybe more water, more corn cornstarch. And see if you can't find the right ratio to make the perfect oobleck that you really like to play with. Because um, you can make it kind of harder, so that way it's more of a ball for longer. When you put it in your hand, it takes a minute to kind of melt. Um, you can make it a little softer, so that way the second you stop moving it, it melts. Um, there's all different consistencies of oobleck. Um, so I was thinking maybe you can try to find the best ratio that works for you, and then share it with the rest of your class and share it with me. Uh, the third option, I was trying to figure out maybe you guys could do something along the lines of making making something like an airplane um, it's a simple task really right make paper airplanes but i was thinking to make a, a little twist on it is if you were to make the exact same airplane out of different material such as if you were to cut a newspaper to be the same size as a piece of computer paper versus the same size as a notebook paper um, or if you have construction paper if you were to cut them all the same size and make identical airplanes with the same folds and then see how each one flies and see if there's a if there's a relationship between the weight or structure of the, or the durability of the material and the flight of the airplane. So those are my three ideas for this week. If you do any one of them and you either maybe share some videos with me of you doing it um, or share some pictures of me doing it, that'd be awesome. And then um, maybe just let me know in an email, like this is what we did and this is how it worked and here's a picture or two or a quick video. So that's another option for this week in order for you to get credit for participation instead of doing an article or doing your own um, research on the internet. Great. Have a great week. I will see you later.